Hello, I'm gonna walk you through what the internal ID is used for in NetSuite and where to find it, how to kind of use it in your integrations. So the internal ID is an identifier in NetSuite that's used for both the name of a field or to identify a specific record of a specific type in NetSuite. Um, so it's kind of, you can think about it as the identifier of something in NetSuite, or if you're thinking more in database terms, it's the primary key of records or fields in your NetSuite account. So the first thing about internal IDs is they're not shown in an obvious way in the user interface when you first kind of log into your NetSuite account. So to make that, to make them a bit easier to find, what you can do is go to your set preferences button here and click the show internal IDs button. Now, after you press save, you'll see internal IDs on any of the lists shown in NetSuite and on the field definitions, which I'll show you in a second. So let's take the case of an invoice that has a new required field. If you're one of your system administrators, it requires a new field on an invoice, let's say a location field, any integrations that they're pushing data into your account or any CSV imports, are going to have to specify that location field on the invoice. In our integration, uh, the SuiteSync, which is a Stripe to NetSuite integration, we push over invoices from Stripe. And so, you know, if you require a new field, such as a location or a class, we need to know which value you want that field be set to so we can successfully create an invoice. Same goes with any custom integrations or any other tools in NetSuite that you have creating invoices. To figure out the field name, of the required field, which is the internal ID, and the actual internal ID value, we need to hop over to the invoice itself. So taking that example of the location, if we go down to the location field here and click on it, and then scroll down to the bottom of the pop-up, you can see the field ID. This is the internal ID that represents this field on the NetSuite record. So now we found the internal ID of the NetSuite field, what we want to do next is find the ID of the exact selection on this field that we want to choose. To show you what I mean, if I go ahead and edit this invoice, NetSuite's going to display a list of location selections here um, that are available for this particular invoice. Now that list is driven by the list of locations in your NetSuite account in general. So for SuiteSync or any other integration to choose a, a entry here in this location list, we need to know the internal ID of this specific dropdown item. Now, the easiest way to do this is to hop over to the global search and search for the locations page. Now, obviously the exact name here is gonna change based on the field, but in this case, the field's named location, and so we can search for the locations list. And the internal ID in this list is the ID that references the particular selection in that field on the invoice, and this is what you're gonna to wanna to hand over to your development team, or if you're using SuiteSync to the support team there, uh, so that we can set that new default on your records. Yeah, hopefully this makes sense and kind of helps you understand how uh, NetSuite internal IDs work. They're used all across the system on any record or any field, even if it's a custom field.